All right, guys, so Starwind Aquariums yet again. So this was my video way back in 2015. It was called How to Breed Copepods the Smart Way. And maybe I didn't know what I was talking about all the way. Um, you know, two years later, you kind of, you know, learn some new things. And yeah, I, this method was okay. It helped. And a lot of people were angry gave me thumbs down so this is the video called how to breed cocoa pots a smart way part two so here's a little thing I, I made a video earlier about pods but uh let's just continue that and give you some understanding so yet again for me as you see i'm running all around i only have in this tank um so old Ova and ooh, these things are running. I don't know if you guys can see it all the way to that light. Ah, but it's just a lot of Chato factory in here. And as you can see, let's see what you can see what I see. And uh oh, it's getting blurry. There's a couple of them right there on top. And so, how to breed copepods and amplipods. I have my copepods in another tank. I don't really put them together. But amplipods, you see. All I have in this tank is a 100 watt like halogen light. That's just for you know heat and whatnot for the shade of. But I have like I don't know like let's say 40 pounds of rock in this 20 gallon long. I have plenty of rock. So every time I do move the rock, there's super amount of pods like all under it because they just kind of just attach to the rocks. I've noticed. Um, they'll breed inside they like to crawl under there they like to be inside the crevice so if you can have a starter fit i would say put a lot of rocks or rubble in in a secluded area because this way they don't get trapped inside your filter because every time i clean my filter there's like a million pods in there and pretty much i try to clean out as much as i can but i end up throwing most of them away but i have uh, probably some thousands by now in this um, I, I can't even lift the rock but you just get you a small little tank you start off with a small culture um, they will breed you throw food in there every once in a while you have your choice of macro algae it can be calerpa it can be uh, chato's nice they like to live in there and the ova sea lettuce has worked for me also they like to attach to there but make sure you have like rocks i mean rocks because i can just see them all in there this like i don't know with this camera it's kind of wacky but um pretty much you just need a couple i started off with around a hundred amplipods and man after i lifted a rock from one of my tanks they were booming and you can see some attached to each other like you know the 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 man grip of one of the pods and that's how you know they're made it pair and so they'll mate you don't have to really do much um i throw sprinkle food in there every once in a while i'm pretty sure there's detritus and other things to eat in there so the ones i have are nice and so the simple fact is you just need a secluded tank with you don't I don't even think you even have to have macro algae in there I just stack rocks all together there's no flow in this one right now I had flow at first sometimes I put a bubbler in there just to get the flow going but when you do put the bubbler in there they do not like come out like they don't like all that you know eruption and all that so they kind of chill I just do that for oxygen but I turn off the lights I turn them on they run like roaches and they're breathing like crazy I need, <laughs> I need to sell some of them. But yet again, this is Star One Aquariums. Uh, please look us up at Star One Aquariums on eBay. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, go to our Twitter page. Go to our Facebook page. Just look for Star Wind Aquariums. And thanks, guys. Sorry for uh, messing up a lot of stuff two years ago. But hey, you live and learn. Peace.